Ladies and gentlemen, probably one of the most new and original bands. Good evening. Uh, VDX from uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> Uh, 300. It's an enormous uh, uh, Dodge, uh, big uh, s uh, station wagon. Yeah. It's a little bit, the, the motor is perfect, but it's a little bit rotten on the back side, but we, the people who stay here will fix it, so it will sh be shiny in the morning. <laughs> How much miles is it? Drive. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there between 9 and 10 o'clock. Okay, bye. Goed. Ja, ik, ik begrijp het niet helemaal. We hebben in ieder geval weer een optreden bij. In negen in Boston. Ja? Ja. Dat is volgens mij helemaal leuk optreden. Ja. Moet je nou maar zo'n auto de huurt zeggen? Nee, ik ben alweer echt... Uh... Had het echt ongelooflijk uh, veel geld gekost. Boah, dan hadden we echt niet geweest. Dan hadden we het geen eens kunnen betalen misschien op een gegeven moment. Nee. Dan hebben we het geld nog laten overkomen. Ja, yeah. nee, zeker. Dat had gewoon, uh, gewoon niet gedaan. Wat een what a tour. Ja, yeah, dat would be nice. Ja, want je weet, ik was hier op Hedy's show werken op de tour en stuff. En toen ze begon te praten over Don, ze called up Laurie en ze zei: Ja, kunnen ze spelen met Don? Ja, zeker. En ze zei: Wow, wat een bill. En ze zei: Fucking now, people are gonna be knocked out. Ja, het is ook een beetje. Ik denk dat het is een beetje. Ik denk dat het 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 een beetje. Ik was heel blij, want de meeste mensen die komen, zijn een beetje. People usually have never heard of him. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. And I don't think a lot of people have heard of you, really. But yeah, boy, you sh fucking. Yeah. I was right. I tell you, in Washington, there's no radio here. Mm. So people don't know anything about. They don't know nothing about bands, really, yeah, yeah. outside of the, like, the DC bands. And it was a really great, great response. <laughs> like, unbelievable, man. And I have caught him. Oh.
The X on WNYU from Oral Gorilla, meanwhile at McDonough's. And the X are here in the studio with us. How are you guys doing? We, we are doing quite fine. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves so that people know which one of you is which? Uh, I'm Luke, and I play bass in the X. And we also do uh, vocals. Mm -hmm. So that was meanwhile at McDonough's. Is that supposed to be like a combination of Madonna and McDonald's, or does it have anything? Well, guess what? I think so, yeah. You so think so? It's more or less the same. Uh -huh. Junk food, junk music. That must be really difficult though, running your own company and like taking care of everything for yourself. There aren't no. too many people who do that. It's more fun. It's more fun, you think? Yeah, you're from beginning to the end of the process. You're, it's your product. Mm -hmm. We decide uh, the music, we decide the lyrics, we decide what we put in it. Uh, posters, uh, extra seven inches. Uh, breadcrumbs or whatever and uh, mm -hmm. we design the sleeves and we design uh, how much it's going to cost in the shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pr it always annoys me, you know, when I s read something about, you know, a band or something and they refer to their music as product. It's just the most... It's, yeah, it's like music. I mean, you can sell soap or you can sell like music like that. I mean, it's up to them, but we don't like it at all. We, for us, it's really emotional and really important what we do and uh, no uh, stupid jerks with, with uh, I don't know, big cars can tell us what or how we shall do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
they completely alienate Disney's brains, produces a totalitarian aesthetic. And if you don't buy into it, the band still can't tell you a thing. And you say, it's just a bunch of screaming, it's not even music. <laughs> hey, why is that? First thing you get to my mind, wow, what a bunch of screaming, it's not even music. <laughs> I often thought, you know, but you also singing, you know, it's like, although they're supposed to be anarchists, you know, looking into the words, it seems to me that it has a, a distinctly Marxist ring. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. I don't know. Let me say, in the words of, well, this is in the words of the great G.W. Sock. Um, that any kind of cultural expression reflects a political choice, either one of mindless, stupefying escapism from reality, or one of happiness and anger. Good combination. <laughs> However, Matthew Rubin counters with, the confusion may lie less in the band's politics than in the US, U.S.'s press tendency to label anything anti-capitalistic as anarchist. What the fuck is this guy is talking it, about? Does he say that? Yeah. <laughs> The anarchist Marxist dilemma. <laughs> that starts hey, off with. Uh, let me explain it to you about this uh, <laughs> preview. The guy who wrote it, I gave them like both records, Zoni's No and the X record, and yeah. the X essay from the Good by Example, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I liked your thing. Yeah, that was. Well, that yeah, was right, that's that. I read, but he had two hours to write this, and he never got to listen to the record. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> this guy okay. writes political essays for that that college paper. Oh yeah. Okay, like that take back the night thing and stuff like that. So that's what he, you know, does. Yeah. Just, so okay. He did the best he could in two hours. Oh, okay. Sure. No, yeah. <laughs> no problem. It just seemed like a little, uh, <laughs> little heavy duty for just, uh, you know, the ex and no means no will be appearing on Halloween. You know. Yeah. Wild. Do you have an album? <laughs> So I don't know what the the Really? the I don't know, I don't have any action. It's about different things. This one is about Finland and the anti homo law. Anti homo law? Yeah, it's in England they have a law that discriminates homosexuals very much. It's called the Cross 28. 29. That's 29? Yeah, no, it. It, first it, it was 28 and then suddenly 29. And it, uh, th there were many demonstrations a year ago and we released that record a year ago. I noticed uh, a lot of that type of politics gets worked into your music, you know, and, and I think it's great because your your experimental sound. And, and now, I've, not a, now that I've seen you live, I have live. I have questions about your live performances. Like, who, who engineers them? Who, who gets them together? I mean, because I, I notice you use a lot of you use conventional instruments, but very in very unconventional ways. Like, like the bass player sitting down and, and tapping the drum in the bass. Who came up with that? Who was these innovations? Not it's. It's just uh, happening in the in the rehearsal room. I mean, we we just when we make new songs, we just start to play, and uh, somebody starts with something, and the others join in. Suddenly, there is something, and then you think, "Oh yeah, so this is worth this is uh, worth making it a song." Do you find that uh, most of the members uh, agree with like what your lyrics say? Yeah. Otherwise, I, yeah. I couldn't sing it. Yeah.
got fucking suits, drive me on a school tie. I'm on my way to fight for the shit that I'm doing in a whole bunch of Look what it runs to, Jack and the Great, and Scott for Stinners, Buck and Spiller, Book of Bull Warren, and it does take a man so much to fight!
Jeugdcultuur.